Hey everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you a multi hair color technique including teasy lights, baby lights, and balayage. So this is a great technique for someone who wants to add a lot of brightness that has had mostly like partials and has all that depth underneath. So I'm going to use teasy lights to brighten all under here and also keep dimension. Baby lights at the top to really fill her in up here um, with all her regrowth and keep her nice and bright. And then at the bowl, foliage to blend everything and brighten just a little bit more. So to begin this color transformation, I'm going to be using Agora Vario Blonde, and this is the Super Plus in the blue can. Why I wanted to use this product was because it lifts a lot slower than Blonde Me. So I had so much depth in her hair that I had to lift out, and I have so much to work with. I didn't want to use Blonde Me that would lift her hair too quickly, and I would have to be worrying about pulling foils the whole time. And what I'm gonna begin doing is teasing the back corners of her nape. So as you can see, I teased back about 50%, and now I'm gonna completely saturate her hair and then fold the foils one side in, another side in, and then almost make this like flat hot dog shape. And what that does is keeps the hair nice and um, flat, so it doesn't overprocess in weird areas when you fold it too tight. Um, it just gives it space to breathe so that there's no um, overprocessing or damage. Now I'm taking a slice up the center of the head and completely saturating it and blending it into the tees. I'm also using a full piece of foil. I haven't cut this at all. I literally just pulled it out and flattened it. So this is a really good trick for somebody who has long hair and you need to get that full section painted. I do this all the time. And we're just gonna keep moving on up the head doing one corner on the left, one corner on the right, and then back to the center. So once you get to the top of the head, start taking horizontal sections only, and that's going to follow your client's natural shape of their head. Now what we're gonna do is flip over the last section at the top and we're just gonna leave that for the baby lights to blend with the top of the section. And then here's the back, that's what it should look like when you're done. And remember when you are starting the client's front hairline to always foil off of the client's part. So what we're gonna do is begin at the front hairline and I call this my extra money piece. You tease each section back on the hairline and it's insane what type of money piece you get from teasing every piece back. So don't be afraid to blend up into the tease. It's gonna create that beautiful diffused line. And I'm literally taking each and every section in the front of her hairline, three foils back and teasing each section back, no hair left in between. So what I'm doing next is taking a section back and I usually do about three foils per temple. So one at the bottom, the next is at the temple and then the top one. So nine total on each side of the head. And that's what I'm doing right here, just working my way back. And then once you finish the face frame, you wanna start taking horizontal sections. I'm gonna tease them back about 50% and go all the way up the head to the temple with that tease.
And then once you get to where the temple starts, I'm gonna start baby lighting the top and make sure you paint all the way up to that root. What we're gonna do is color melt her after this. So I want to see those really pretty lines up at the top area. And this way she's gonna get like a really soft grow out having that highlight color melted. So for my next section, I'm gonna actually start painting into the darker mids. As you can see, she has a lot of depth there, so I wanted to make sure that section was also just as bright as her highlights, so it's really connected. Um, so if you have a client who's like that, where they have light ends, but everything else is pretty much dark, just paint right down into that mid section and pop it right in the foil so they have that even, consistent highlight. Okay, so next I'm gonna move on to the back and check my foils. As you can see, Angela pulls really warm. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of heat on the back for her for 10 minutes just to help that process a little faster. And I'm also taking my comb and brushing the tees down. I just wanna show you guys how pretty that tees um, creates these like organic highlights. So you'll see in this one especially how pretty um, those highlights are. So that's why I always blend up into the tees. So now what we're gonna do is bring her back to the bowl and I've mixed my boliage. It is 30 grams of clay lightener with 45 grams of 30 volume developer and one fourth of Olaplex. So what you wanna do is remove all the foils and I love to shampoo with a clarifying shampoo that gives it like the squeaky clean finish. I'm gonna brush her out and then I'm gonna start applying the boliage. So what you wanna do is mix it with the back of a wide tooth comb just so it's really easy. Then you're gonna start painting. What I do is tightly hold and I paint all the way up to the top and then I fully saturate the ends. So once this application is complete, we're only gonna let it sit for five minutes. So you just wanna go around that whole front hairline, taking those big like two inch, three inch sections and then really make sure you fully saturate the ends. And I would not recommend this technique on someone who is a level five or deeper unless they're comfortable with warm tones. Angela's root is about a six, so I knew she would lift to a really pretty blonde. Um, and as you can see, I'm barely touching that root area. And you don't wanna slather that front hairline at all or it's gonna grab tons of warmth. Um, so here I am painting the other side. You can see how big my section is and I'm holding nice and tight and just gently feathering up and I'm really saturating it so she gets tons of coverage and brightness right in that front area. And the cool thing about this is it blends the highlights. It doesn't just lift, it like blends all that color and gives her a little bit more brightness with her natural root and her natural hair. So that's why I really love boliage. It like adds this extra element of softness. So what I'm gonna do is grab that back section and paint from the ends up same thing just lightly feather into the root and you guys will see at the end how pretty and soft this made the highlight look instead of being too like you know stripey coming out of the root you guys are gonna love this technique and now i'm using my hands to gently melt this into the ends and that makes sure that you have full saturation especially on the ends so i'm just using my hands to just gently do that so we process for five minutes after the application, so about 10 minutes total, and you can see the amazing blend, how soft it made it, and it just blended and brightened that highlight and that face frame so much more. Now I'm gonna root melt with 6T6N, two ounces of processing solution, and I'm just gonna do like a little bit of a root tap, not too far down. You can see it's about an inch. I'm just gonna take sections and pretty much just blend that root so she has that beautiful seamless grow out.
Now I'm toning her ends with a half ounce of 9T, half ounce of 9NA, half ounce of 9GB, half ounce of clear, and two ounces of processing solution. What this is gonna do is give her that like buttery, but almost ashy blonde. I didn't wanna give her too much of an ashy tone because it really would wash her skin out. She has this gorgeous olive skin tone, so I wanted to make sure this color complemented that. So I'm gonna blend down her root melt with the wet brush just to give her a little bit more of a melt and then rinse, condition, and blow her out with Volu Hair Mist. And this is the final result, guys. You can see how beautifully blended and lightened the ends are. The root is a little softer just from that boliage, and it's such a pretty like blend. Like The ends are perfectly light. You have that awesome face frame in the front and the color is just so gorgeous on her skin it's not too ashy it's not too gold so what i used was the ghd one and one quarter curling iron and i'm going to shake out her curls with her hands and just have her flip up and then smooth it all out for her and it looks phenomenal i'm so excited for you guys to try this tutorial on your clients it is just so fun especially for fall just to have something that's a little more like you know, like a golden blonde wheat. This is really, really pretty. Um, and I hope it really helps you guys fill in those girls who have been getting partials for so long and they wanna see this overall brightness and this color melted gloriousness. This is what they can use. Um, so yeah, here's a little shot of the back. You can see how much more blended and filled in it is. No more like half colored hair. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me comments below. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys on the next tutorial. Bye!